So Fergal Kelly, the referee, gets us up and running here. Big, heavy collision already involving Kieran Mackin and Ronan O'Toole. And the first meaningful possession will be for Westmead. Desi Dolan has asked his Westmead charges to embrace this daunting group that also includes last year's beaten All-Ireland finalist Galway and the All-Ireland winners of two years ago, Tyrone. First effort comes from John Heslin. And that's a real settling start from Westmead. Conor O'Neill across to James Morgan, the 2009 All-Ireland minor title winner. Not engaged in any man marking at the moment as he comes forward in tandem with Charlie Oak Burns. It's opened up here for Charlie Oak Burns, gets his hand pass away. Sharp turn from Rory Grugan. And there's a quick repost from Armagh. Rory Grugan tying it up at a point apiece, maintaining his record of scoring in all championship games for Armagh this year as he kicks championship point number eight for the campaign. And here goes Kevin Maguire. And then marking Rian O'Neill. Westmead full back to bring them forward. He'll continue his advance forward as well. Oh, lovely little layoff. Here's a great chance for O'Toole. He's a real finisher and he showed real calmness and composure there. Lovely touch pass, fingertip stuff to get him in. And once he got there, well, you always fancied this was going to end up in the back of the net. No need to force anything here now, Westmead. They've got themselves into a good position. One, two to two points. Lynch advances again. Lachlan gets it onto his left. That one is on its way and straight over the black spot. Jason Daly. Sends it right down the middle of this time. The man he wants to avoid there, though, is Ben Creeley. And now on the front foot here. Point for the taking for Stefan Campbell. Well, the danger of a goal kick that goes awry. Match day one in this particular group saw Galway with a three-point win against Tyrone. Armagh will be in Oma next. Galway will be on Mullingar. Luke Lachlan. Backing his pace here against Greg McCabe. Little ball on the inside. Beautiful score that. Popped over by Sam Duncan. Walker takes the mark and now looks for movements. Has it ahead of him in the form of Conor O'Neill. That's the hand pass away. Opportunity here now for Kieran Mackin. Shifts it on to Andrew Mernon. And finally, we have our first point of the second half, and it's what our man desperately needed. Start of possession as Westmead held the ball for much of this second period. But a good driving run from Kieran Mackin. Excellent kick out, beautifully weighted from Jason Daly. Heslin not standing on ceremony. Gets his hand pass away on the inside. Jonathan Lynham passes it on in turn. Lachlan, great response from Westmead. A brilliant team score, that one. And once he got it on his left-hand side, then it was an unerring finish from Luke Lachlan. Jamie Ganood. On the angle again comes Sam McCartan. O'Toole. McCartan to his right-hand side, lets it run cleverly. Here's a shooting chance for David Lynch. This could be a big moment. He's put it over the bar, David Lynch. Big point for Westmead. They re-establish. A three-point advantage, but finished clinically by David Lynch. Here on Mackin. And they find the right man, it's Rian O'Neill. A lot of air on this one. Oh, everyone looking to attack it, it's in the back of the net. A goal for our man, it's Conor Turbin. Inside the last three minutes of the 70. It's the big ball in from Rian O'Neill, broken down by Andrew Mernon. And arriving right on cue, Connor Turbot didn't start today, but maybe he's got the biggest score of the day, Connor Turbot. Duncan battling with Rian O'Neill, arm out possession. Ross McQuillan, a runner ahead of him. Here's a chance, it's Kieran Mackin. Keeps it moving, Mernon, twisting, turning, shooting, and scoring. Andrew Mernon. Duncan Westmead can't afford to foul. Well, that's it, it's all over. It's a crushing defeat for a gallant Westmead. They led this game for so long.